ninth largest area in the world. A symbiosis of East and West. A country of great opportunities. Bright impressions. Everything you wanted to know about Kazakhstan. Important notes. Useful routes. In the program, routes and notes. Korgaljan area is a medium-sized area of Akmala region. The area on its own seems as very unremarkable place, but not for those who cannot imagine their vacation without the natural beauty. It is a great landscape. The nature here is unique. Its district center is the village Korgaljan. Its residents are like a part of nature, in an absolute harmony with the environment here. And perhaps it is obvious on their faces. People here are very discreet. Their faces can be severe sometimes, but at the same time, local residents are very warm and friendly to guests. And this can be traced to a certain similarity with the local climate. It is sharply continental. That is, the temperature is severe in winter, with cold storms and generous with very hot days in summer. For many years, people here have worked mainly on land. Well, and now there are no changes in their activity. There are many private farms. By the way, we assure you that you can come by without notice to any of the local farmers. A fresh bowl of kumis and rich dasarhan always ready for tourists. I came here for the first time in 1995 and immediately fell in love with this place. I saw this river, these beautiful birds on the river, and what a great fish is in the river. Excellent fish and all sorts of types of it. It's somewhere around 20 species of fish here. This is Nura, one of the largest rivers in the region. What a beauty! The favorite one for fishing enthusiasts. But by the way, not only the local, but also the residents of the capital love to relax fishing. Fishermen from neighboring regions and even from the border regions of Russia stop by. You can fish here all year round. Winter ice fishing on the river Nura and lakes of Horgoljan region is offered by many metropolitan travel agencies. Stay from one to several days will cost about 50 US dollars per day. Well, the list of what is found in the water includes silver and gold carp, ites, bream, roach, perch, pike, perch, burbot, carp, ruffs, minnows, and some other species. <laughs> My name is Nurlan. I work here in the area of Korgaljin. On the weekend, rarely we travel somewhere. We come to the river Nura to fish. If it is permitted, we hunt for birds. In general, we spend our weekends in a very interesting manner. We particularly don't want to go anywhere. We are seeing the benefits of our native land. Weather already demonstrates its harsh temper. It is very windy. You can feel winter approaching quite clearly. All fishermen took their positions already in the late afternoon, so no one really can boast about their catch. Our program guest today decided to arrange a day of pike. A common carp is caught on worm and other such fish, and we now hold something glittering with a hook at the tip. It is for pike. The pike is a predatory fish, and it will be attracted to this glittering thing, bite it, and we will catch it on the hook. Well, here it is caught. Well, this fish will be about 300 grams, while the pike can reach up to 15 to 20 kilograms. With a bit of bone, with very tasty meat, because the pike is a little more expensive than some other types of fish. Well, let's look if we have any other fish to catch. I will release this back into the water. But if I won't have a good catch, I would have to take this little one. Perhaps the love of nature in people here is at the level of genetic memory. In the first half of the 20th century, during the Stalinist regime, in Kazakhstan there was a real genocide of nation. This sad period in the history of people were able to survive because of the nature. 
In lean years, it was the most favorable places for survival, because there was always fish in the water, a bird in the sky, different animals on the ground. The very nature helped people to survive. Local populations say that from time to time, when communicating with foreign tourists, they ask how and why they came to this particular place. Among the top reasons, the simple desire to enjoy the beauty of pristine nature. Of course, nature is very beautiful, especially in spring and summer. But it is quite atypical of the vast central Kazakhstan region. So what attracts a very steady flow of tourists? The Pearl of Gorglajan area is a national reserve, the largest in the country and even in Central Asia. From the village of Gorglajan, it is about 40 to 45 kilometers. The road to the reserve is not smooth, and the recent signs of an asphalt layer gradually melt. And as it turns out, this is for a reason. Here to the reserve, its inhabitants, with a reverent attitude, there is no signs of usual goods and services for visitors. It was made to reserve everything that is here and not to infringe the interests of the unique flora and fauna. The maximum that you're offered is a guest house located in different parts of the reserve in the nearby villages. We are now at the hotel of Korgaljan Reserve. There are rooms for four people and for two. To make it more convenient for travelers, there are also hot water, shower, natural cuisine. We do not feed them. We give them gas, kitchen utensils, their own food. They basically prepare it on their own. Each group of tourists is responsible to bring its own food to eat, to eliminate any complaints about the quality of food. Yes, of course, the service here is also pristine, like nature. But you know, the prices are quite consistent. Houses for 10 to 4 people will cost something around 10 to 20 US dollars per day. Very little in exchange for the indescribable pleasure of nature. By the way, the reserve inspectors say that there are especially enthusiastic visitors who sometimes come here with their tents, refusing even the small comfort of the base, which is offered in the local hotel houses. They prefer, so to say, a maximum immersion into nature. Looking at these amazing swans and flamingos, you automatically imagine that you are at least in a very large comfortable zoo. But no, this is their most natural habitat. They are at home. Virgin Steppe and Lakes of Korgaljinsk Reserve is a habitat of wolves, wild boars, saiga, gazelles, elk, deer, foxes, hares and of course the local lake is a place for birds. Only on Lake Tengiz, 15 million birds can feed themselves for an entire season especially in spring and summer. Korgozhan Reserve is a home to the world's northernmost population of pink flamingos that live here from May to October. They arrive here from distant warm countries and this is a place where their offspring first sees the light. Here where their children born, here where they are taking their first steps, flapping wings and finally get stronger, ready for further migration of birds. The same story happens here from May to October with more than 300 species of birds. It is so delicate and amazing process that local inspectors, like vultures, are ready to protect the tranquility of these beautiful creatures. You are allowed to the park only after prior agreement and not admitted to the inhabitants of the reserve 
closer than 100-150 meters. This area is truly untouched, next to people who protect it. A reverent attitude is observed on the part of local residents, as well as from many connoisseurs who come here from all over the world, and of the part of international organizations. UNESCO included the reserve on the list of valuable natural heritage. In general, the reserve consists of these two large lakes, Tengiz and Korgalzhen, which are the remnants of an ancient sea that once filled the entire place. Together with other smaller bodies of water, they form a unique, rich in fish and bird wetland complex. The Lake Tengiz is 85 km with 35 km. The opposite shore is not visible even in 20-fold binoculars. Tengiz means in Kazakh language sea. Water salinity is 5 to 6 times higher then the salinity of the oceans. In 2000, Lake Tengiz has become a part of the organization Live in Lakes, which unites the most unique lakes in the world. In the summer, thousands of swans, geese, ducks, and so on and so forth nest on the lakes. The birds of northern areas, snowy owl and termigan, walk swings and tap dance, urugus and bullfinches break the winter's silence. The Korgosian Reserve is a home to dozens of species of birds listed in the Red Book. Discover Korgalzhen State Nature Reserve, preferably during a warm period from May to September. At this time, all birds will be here and you will be able to get the most impressions. In fact, to admire everything here, it will take at least 3 to 4 days. In the Korgalzhen Reserve, you can select one or more of the four ecological routes, specifically designed to study the nature of this amazing region. All routes start with a visit to the visitor center in the village Korgalzhen. We recommend that you carefully read the exhibits and the museum stands. Then when you will leave the reserve, you will not miss some very important details of the lives of its beautiful inhabitants.